So here I am again, back to play. At least back for me, that is. Um, let's see, I check my health. Always check my health first. I think last time I ended um, by spending on my money, yeah. So I can just go straight into a mission. Searing Euthanasia. There they are! The pretty instructor and his allies! So, yeah, last time I was uh, fighting, fighting these criminals that have been released by Warden Axel um, to stop us or whatever, to redeem Warden Axel for being a failure from Chapter 1. Let's kill them and gain our freedom at last! You guys want freedom that badly? Well, what are you going to do once you're free? Get revenge, of course, against the corruptment for putting us in Hades. <laughs> if you commit a crime, you go to Hades. You want to get revenge for your own mistake? Your desire is born of nothing but ignorance. No! We did the right thing! But the corruptor meant... Ooh, what was that? What happened? We didn't do anything wrong. We were only planting fears in the minds of humans. We made them fear the darkness, midnight, and gave them nightmares. That's all we did! Um, but those are bad things. No. Planting fear in humans is an exemplary action for all demons. By doing so, humans learn respect, begin to live conservatively, and keep their world in order. It's an essential part of keeping a healthy relationship between demons and humans. It's the secret to keeping the universe in order. Huh? I didn't know demons played such a role. That's cool. But putting hard-working demons in Hades? What is the Corrupterman's true endgame? Endgame? Never mind that. The true travesty is that these guys are being imprisoned under false charges. So? Are we gonna fight them even though they're innocent? Well, that's a different story. They are demons, after all. We always prove our points through violence. And we need the experience. So we have a few different colors here. XP 50%, treasure panel, uh, mana plus 50%, and HL plus 50%. Or hell, I'm not sure how to call that exactly. Um, oh, I see the blocks are tucked away here. So these are pretty self-explanatory, except for the treasure panel, except I'm guessing monsters will all turn into treasure when they're defeated. Exactly what it says, okay. So, this, I'm guessing, is a mana, let's see, XP, oh yeah, this is pretty much like a grind map as far as I can tell. I mean, if I can actually beat it, um, this is probably the kind of map you'd want to come back to and uh, get mana or XP or money or whatever. Murmur. So, yeah, it looks like I'm just fighting generic monsters again and a beast hammer, except a gunner, okay. I haven't seen one of these before. A gunman with a quick draw. Good combo attacks with other gunners. And he's got a nice little hat there. Marking. Doesn't have any special skills. Except something about crit rate for his ability. Beast Hammer, I saw those last time. Um, I guess they have bows. Oh, well, she has a saber. Yeah, I didn't really give the Beast Tamers a chance to attack last time. So, it looks like I'm kind of going to get rushed, so I probably want to pick one of these directions and run towards them from the start. question is, which one's the best to run to? Probably upwards, or staying on the high ground, I'd imagine. 
and we kill kill the beast tamer or kill the gunner first. I'm tempted to go for the gunner since he has a range. Anyways, this is my strategy to start. I don't know if it's good. These things, if I recall, yeah, these things have low defense. So, I can pretty much just send out my main characters against these guys. Now, what I'm thinking about doing here is getting this guy pushed back to the center. I'm using Fenric to knock him back with his fist. And then having Val do um, in Demon's Impale or whatever it's called and hit three in a row. So I guess the first thing I have to do is actually throw um, Fenric to where he can reach this. Oh, actually I don't know if... No, I can't. I can't move Fenric far enough back for this. Fenric can actually only hit one space back, so that won't really work. Here I come. So I'll have to pretty much settle for Valvatorez to just do... Just hit these two, which is totally fine. Here I come. I'm not sure if people can support attack on specials, so I'll just put Fenric Take out this. in case he can. I'm guessing they can. So we almost killed, almost killed both these guys. Really? Well, I guess we almost almost killed one, and one's still fine. Watkins has pretty good attack. He could probably finish this guy. This guy doesn't have any particular weakness to my magic. These guys have good resistance. I'm always curious if I can... Now that I made a new mage who is level 1, I'm always looking for opportunities to um, just finish off an enemy who barely has any damage. I don't know if I should send Fenric after the gunner. I'm thinking that might be best. I wonder if my warrior kind of combo. Not a very good combo with Val, so I'm just going to use Boulder Crush. Oh, actually I might not, because the accuracy is very low with this warrior. Here I come. As for comparison, I guess it's a little higher. Um, curious if I use something like a pill and bomb. So I don't really want to miss, I don't want to miss my attack. The other option is to just go for a big team attack, which gives... I don't think team attacks miss as a whole. I think the characters would miss individually. Here I come. I'm gonna try to go for a team attack with a Prinny, I suppose. Try that out. Looks like I did just about enough there. And this guy I could finish off pretty easily. I can use my... actually I can use my um, green mage to do this. Although I have to be kind of careful here because these guys have really big move range from what I've noticed. They're flying. Um, I think they're flying. There's such a thing in this game. There's a skull here. Increase the level of the enemies. I could probably be using those once again. Um, yeah, I want to get my green mage out and finish this character off. I'll basically just have to throw her to make sure she's not within range of death from the enemies. I think she leveled up. Twice? Three times there? I'm not sure. Oops, trying to get back to normal zoom. There we go. I keep forgetting I have Fuka, since I just got her like a couple missions ago. Not used to having her at my disposal. So the next task is to kill this gunner. 
What I may want to do is throw him back so more of my characters can get to him. So right now he's kind of... I mean, I guess Fuka, Fuka and Fenric will be able to attack him. Even my thief, but, you know, that's my thief, so... If I were to throw him, I guess I would use my thief. And... It's questionable, really, what I would do here. I still want to throw my green mage. I'll do my best. So I'll probably use my thief for that purpose. I'd like to just get her. I guess I could just throw her straight back Ready into the base panel, me? too. Although, this base panel will probably be surrounded within, like, a turn, so... I might actually want to get all my characters to the back of this green area. I'm just... My mage should be fairly safe back here. And then... Well, if I get Fenric out here, I could try to do a team attack on this gunner. I'll have at least have Pruny to back him up. And... I guess Fuka can't really... I guess I'd only have a Pruny to back him up, which isn't too spectacular. Now if I come out here and throw him, I can only really throw him in this area, which, I mean, actually, that could be decent, but that would be a waste of Fuka, and I guess I could have my warrior attack, so maybe I'll do that. I don't mind having my warrior and Fenric being the ones who are over here. That is, um, covering my flank. And might as well get Fenric right next to Val. The warrior there too. I'll just go for a regular team attack and a pretty. I have a really good chance at team attack here, so hopefully I can kill this gunner in one attack. do my favorite combo here. Favorite team attack. It's like run around the world thing. And bump into him at the end. Boom. Fortunately he'll counter me because Fenric will easily finish him off. So that worked out. That worked out even better than I planned really. One attack taking out the gunner. And... Might as well just use a Prinny here to take out this treasure chest. Prinny is so capable. Or this. Watkins. Might have Watkins just like defend or something. He has, he has, I guess, a decent amount of health. Fenric has the most though, so I don't mind Fenric just being a complete tank here. Or maybe I can get my... Try to get my mage to the back lines. Have to have someone throw him. Maybe I'll use my warrior to throw my mage backward. Um, the question is which side do I want him on? I guess it doesn't really matter a whole lot. He all have. Oh, give me. It'd be kind of nice to get my healer back there too, but I don't have I many this. more people who can throw. Which health does Prinny have? And defense, not very good. Sadly, Prinny can't throw. Oh, Maybe what I'll do is... Uh, she actually has a pretty good defense. I'll have her... I'll have her throw the mage back. Here I come. Oh no, not the treasure. Here oh. I come. Pick up the mage, please. There. Morris with the... I guess not a mage, rather a skull. I guess they can actually come around the back here, but it'll take them a while to walk that way. And then I will have, actually, so I can cover this chest too. Just kill this one. Slightly a waste of SP. And 
let's see. There's a chance Prinny will get attacked here. I'll I'll have Prinny Prillin bomb the chest. And then I will have Watkins defend next to Prinny. Although that's He'll probably he might take damage from these two actually. We'll have to see. That could be a little too close. Hopefully, well, actually, these guys are what? Magic users? Fire? I'm not sure. Watkins actually has a pretty low resistance, so... Maybe pushing it a little bit. Might be safer to just keep him in the base panel. Since this guy can move... Basically up to right here. So he should be limited to these two for his attack. I don't know if this one's a threat this turn. And yeah, so I'm I'm fine with Fenric. Well, it's questionable because Fenric could get hit by like four different guys this turn. This turn potentially he could get hit by a couple moths. Time to bust some balls. So in this case. It might actually be best to pull out a couple of characters and just defend or something. I guess defending is usually fairly fairly sturdy. I got this. Just want to make sure that Fenric doesn't um, have to take all the damage himself. Well, actually, these mods can move so far, and they have ranged attack that looks like it didn't even really matter. They just skipped straight past my defenders. And even more fortunately is the fact that they completely, you know, didn't send in two-thirds of their remaining army. Just sent in two moths at the time, which is making me think this mission is going to be rather easy for me. Um... Yeah, my thief took damage, you know, I don't really care if my thief dies early on. She doesn't have any skills. I still kind of want to try I got a plunder hand. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be good enough to steal anything. So, I'm not sure if I want to heal the Prinny first or kill these thingies first. Both weak to win. They have decent resistance. Wouldn't mind finishing them off with my... Green Mage. Tempted to just go for a huge team attack on one of these again. In fact, the position I'm set up in already gives me a really good chance of team attack, although still kind of low chance of accuracy. Shishimaru. I'll go ahead and do that. Requires very little thinking. Pound this dude into the ground, slam him into a block of wood. One hit KO. I'm I'm tempted to try to avoid standing right here next to the edge, because uh, that may be what have what prevented these guys from um, being triggered to attack me. But I do want to kill this moth too, so. Trying to think how I could get a. Yeah, I can't really get a huge team attack on him because. Because of the positioning here, being on the edge. Watkins doesn't work too well with my main character in terms of team attacking. Neither does Fuka. I suppose I should just bring in Fenric. I kind of didn't want to move him just because as soon as he moves, his he's done with his actions that he can take. But I've already done it, so 